I needed a new key for my van recently, so I got somebody out to get me a new one, and he was explaining to me how easy it actually is to break into a transporter. He said he could get in and out so easily, without any damage being caused, easily pick the lock, plug the device into the OBD, and off you go in absolutely no time at all. It's really, really easy to do. Kind of frightening, really. You have spent a lot of money on your van getting it all kitted out, ready for your perfect van life. The last thing you want to happen is it for it to be stolen. How can you reduce the chances of the worst possibly happening? I will share some products with you which you could possibly use to prevent this from happening, including a recommendation from a police officer who deals with car crime all the time. But first, we need to understand how these thefts can actually occur. Thieves can be really sophisticated or sometimes they can just use brute force. Smashing your window or breaking your door is a forceful way of doing it, or they could be using locks to pick in. Get inside, plug in the cheap OBD device which they've bought on the internet and cloning your key and driving away. I can show you how you can stop this from happening. I will explain later. Next, somebody could actually break into your house, take your keys and then just drive off in your vehicle. Unfortunately, this did happen to a client of mine very recently and it isn't a nice thing to be happening to you. Some can actually just tow your vehicle away, put it on the back of a truck and then just drive it away. Many will argue that the back of a truck is its kind of natural habitat for a transporter, but they're probably just jealous drivers of other vehicles. And another form, which is potentially the most frightening, even more frightening than somebody actually breaking into your house, and that is somebody actually hijacking your vehicle when you're actually in there, being forcefully removed from your vehicle and somebody taking that away. But still, I have an answer to assist with this case as well. So what can we do to prevent this? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know what you think, especially on one of the items which I'm gonna discuss in a moment. I'll come on to the best method which you can possibly use a little bit later on. But the first layer you should be using is physical devices. And I do know a lot of people will argue that these are absolutely pointless. These are deterrents though. They will help deter a thief and potentially push them onto another vehicle. If I'm followed away from a show, a transporter meet or something like that, one of the gang members follows me, figures out where I live, and then he finds out that I've got CCTV and I've got this lock and I've got that lock and I'm in a well-lit area and there's lots of residential people around and the house across the road's got CCTV. They might think twice about going for my vehicle, but then if they follow somebody else's vehicle home and he's got no physical security, it's dark, there's no CCTV, nobody's gonna see them, then that is the vehicle which is gonna be an easier target. And this is actually what people do. Vehicles are specifically targeted. A physical device isn't purely the answer, but it is going to deter them. You're making their job harder. Are they really going to want to get an angle grinder out or a drill and make some noise in the early hours of the morning when they could be heard, they could be seen? No, they want to take the easier option. You're just actually helping preventing from them coming after you if you've got one of these devices. The sort of devices which I'm talking about you could use here is a steering wheel lock in the first instance. Now a disc lock, and I know a lot of people say that these are pointless. Well, no, it's a physical device. Yes, these can get into them, but the disc lock is one of the best devices on the market. And it is a device which has been around for many, many years, and it's still sold in big numbers now. And there's a reason for that, because it is a good device. It's harder to get into, harder to get off than some of the other physical devices on the market. Another aspect of physical security which you could get is one which has come from Transporter HQ, and that's the Scally Stopper. Now the Scally Stopper is a device which goes onto your pedals and prevents anybody from actually driving the vehicle because all the pedals are covered in this big metal unit. Difficult to take off, it's gonna cause a lot of noise getting rid of that, and if you've got that and the steering lock, are they really gonna be wanting to do both? There's also another lock you can use, and this is for your transmission, whether you've got a manual or a DSG, the automatic, and that is called the Burr Lock from Theft Stop. This isn't actually gonna deter thieves because it is a hidden device, but it does mean you can't actually drive the vehicle because of this physical hard metal product which is preventing from the transmission from actually engaging. If you've not got anything on the steering wheel or on the pedals themselves, they might think the vehicle's an easy target. So I would actually add something else, 
a steering wheel lock just so they know that this isn't actually an easy vehicle to get away with there is some physical protection on it or do you have stickers on the windows to say you've got a bear lock and that's one of the questions which i've got do you advertise the fact what physical security you've got should you be advertising that you've actually got them is it going to deter them that it's on there or is it going to give them an easier job if they know that x a brand of x a product is on this vehicle oh i know how to get into that one quite easily it's a good question what do you think something else for your home is obviously lights good lighting is often said that it does help and also cctv but with cctv unless it's 24 7 monitored you're only going to see it after the event and now these people are going to be coming with the, the hoodies and the balaclavas and face masks and things like that so you're probably not going to get a good image but it could prevent somebody from breaking in potentially it's a good thing to have and the last piece of physical security which we've got something else for your house is bollards now one which i've seen recently tge tv uh, a youtuber who talks about cars he's got lots of expensive cars and he uses these bollards called intellipost and it's a completely wireless steel metal bollard which is controlled by bluetooth which you can use on a remote control or an app yes it is more expensive than other forms of security but having a big bollard in front of your vehicle is not going to be an easy device for them to move and they are going to be causing a lot of noise and a lot of damage to actually get that post away now i'm sure i am going to be told in the comments that the physical devices are now good because they're too easy to get through but it is just deterring them making them think twice about going for your vehicle rather than the easy target down the road who doesn't have any physical devices yes they are relatively easy to get through with the modern tools and equipment which you can get hold of but it's a deterrent it's extra work it's noisy it's greater risk of them actually being caught which they certainly don't want this is just the first part that is more like immobilizers now engine immobilizers most vehicles including the transporter does come with an immobilizer but these are far too easy to actually get through the standard immobilizer with the obd thefts plugging in the device they easily navigate around this and this has been a problem really caused by the fact that that obd port on the vehicle is always live and it has to be live due to the legislation so the port is always accessible somebody plugging in can easily just connect to your vehicle so this is something which we need to stop there are devices which can be bought to prevent against this there are two devices which are really highly regarded especially for the use of supercars and range rovers and things like that they're often being talked about these are the auto watch ghost and then you've also got the pandora alarm which i will come on to in a moment both of these have different functions and are highly highly regarded and they even were recommended in a conversation with a police officer briefly the ghost immobilizer is actually deactivated by a unique code which is set by the actual owner of the vehicle and this is done by using the different buttons on the vehicle and different controls indicate this way press the heater button there blah blah blah, blah do this then do that all depending on how your vehicle's set up as to what actual functions can be used to de disable the alarm you can also use it on a mobile phone app as well and you will hear members of various different VW communities when immobilizers are mentioned they will recommend this because it is a very very popular device the Pandora alarm this is the most technologically advanced alarm system which you can actually buy very very popular and for good reason protection not only provides an alarm system but it also provides protection against hijacking towing and tampering with your vehicle now there are so many different benefits to this system there's so many different models available it'd actually be a whole video in itself but pandora have actually got a specific camper van motorhome alarm system which you can buy tailored to the needs of a camper van owner as far as the packages are concerned each package contains different benefits and different options incorporating alarms and immobilizers trackers anti-hijack remote start even as well check out the camper pro model which they've got specific for the camper vans really high tech piece of equipment anyway moving on you might have been asked to have a thatcher approved tracker fitted to your vehicle and this is because there's been a huge increase in theft and also multiply this 
with the increase in values of vans, it's now putting a van into the category of the standard tracker requirement for a lot of insurance companies. But because these are being stolen so much, and it is still on the increase, more and more insurers are requesting you have a tracker. In theory, having a tracker fitted means that if your vehicle is stolen, it is tracked and located, and then you can actually get your vehicle back. Now, there are two main categories of tracker now with as far as Thatcham's concerned, and that's the S5 and the S7. Not to be confused with the previous models, which is changed in 2019, I think it was. The S5 is the better model, and this incorporates some form of driver recognition system. So you usually see people who've got trackers, they'll have a little tag on the keys or a card in the wallet, and that is for the vehicle to recognize that the driver is in this vehicle, I detect the tag, I can start the engine. And some of the trackers can even incorporate an immobilizing device. So if the vehicle has been stolen, then the user can actually operate on the mobile phone and actually immobilize the vehicle. Or by this point, the tracking company might have actually called them up. They answer the phone and say, my vehicle isn't here. Yes, it has been stolen. Okay, sir, we will immobilize that vehicle for you. So it's actually a really good product to have. Now, as these are monitored devices, obviously that's reliant on a call center monitoring your vehicle should anything happen. So there is an outlay, a subscription charge after you've had the original installation. You'd normally pay this on an annual basis. Sometimes you can get a discount by buying a couple of years in advance, but that's just an additional cost you need to be aware of for a proper tracker. Do not mistake these for the cheap trackers which you can find on some of the cheap websites. They're not proper insurance approved trackers. And the same goes for Apple tags. Now I know some people are using these and hiding them in the vehicle, but they are easily found. If you are gonna use them as an additional layer, make sure you do take the speaker out, which you can do. So when the device is found and they try tracking it, try finding it with the phone, they're not gonna be able to find it as easy because the sound isn't gonna be bleeping at them. So what is the best security for your vehicle? Well, layering, that is the answer. Layering your security, utilizing physical security to start with as a deterrent, and then incorporating something like the Ghost, the Pandora, or a Tracker, making it as difficult as possible. It's not always gonna work. There are cases where these vehicles could still go, but it really does help. What do you think? If you want some ideas on some cheap interior mods, have a look at that video here. For now, take care. I shall see you soon.